good day ladies and gentlemen and uh, once again we are back together uh, looking at the final question uh, you know it's been a marathon uh, just trying to look at that uh, uh, 2021 May June exam uh, just to analyze the questions uh, and by the way just to give you let you in on a bit of a secret uh, I don't know if it's my, that much of a secret the same examiners that uh, actually will be uh, examining this year's exam, uh, final exam in, um, you know, November, will be the same ones that uh, actually set this exam. So we're trying to get into their minds, hey? Um, so yeah, if you haven't subscribed, please just be part of the family. And for those of you who may need assistance with uh, mathematics or physical science, please just consider getting in touch with us. And our email address is info at mlungesinkosi.co.za. All right, now let's look at uh, question 10. Uh, this is on the photoelectric effect. Okay, so it says, um, when light of various frequencies is incident on a metal cathode of a photocell, uh, photoelectrons are emitted from the surface of the cathode. Okay, they say the graph below shows the relationship between the maximum kinetic energy of an emitted photon and the wavelength of the incident light. Okay, so essentially they are giving us a graph of wavelength uh, um, uh, or rather kin uh, maximum kinetic energy against the wavelength. Now they say use the graph to determine the maximum kinetic energy of the emitted photoelectron when the wavelength of the incident light is 1, uh, 1.0 uh, times 10 minus uh, to the power minus 7. Right. So uh, le let's let's quickly have a look at it. So it means we're going to read off that value from the graph. Let's go to 1.0. There it is there. And look for the maximum kinetic energy. Um, I think, so when we look at the scaling factor there, this is going to be 0 to 2, uh, but we've got 5 lines in between. So 2 divided by 5, uh, that would give us 0 0.2. So it means they are increasing at 0 0.2, right? So um, in this case, I'm looking at this, so that's 10. So that would be 10.2, 10.4, 10.6, 10.8. So I think, uh, if you ask me, when I look at that value, uh, it means that the kinetic energy should be equal to 10.8, uh, remember, this is times 10 to the power minus 19 joules. So that's the kinetic energy that I get there. Okay, right. And then 10.2, they say what relationship between uh, the maximum kinetic energy of the emitted photoelectron and the wavelength of the incident light can be deduced from the graph? All right, I think we can agree that they're inversely proportional to each other, isn't it? That in this case, the greater the wavelength, the lesser, um, you know, that uh, uh, maximum kinetic energy. So I would say they are inverse to each other or they're inversely proportional to each other. All right. And then they say define the term work function. Um, uh, we say that the work function is the minimum energy required to emit electrons from a metal surface right okay uh, i get the feeling you guys are going to do so well when it comes to the final exam hey yeah um, so, uh, so they say use the graph to calculate the work function of the metal used um, as the cathode of this photocell so um, let's have a look at it and analyze this one together so what is the work function? We know it's the minimum energy required uh, to emit electrons, right, from a metal surface. So um, what happened when we've got uh, the work function? And it, it means, uh, remember that the work function um, occurs at what we call the threshold frequency, right? The minimum frequency required to emit electrons. So at that point, it means that we have not uh, actually reached, or it means that our, 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 uh, our kinetic energy or the kinetic energy of the photoelectrons is still zero, right? Now, if I look at that graph, I want you to think about it. Where is the kinetic energy zero? Yeah, you can see 
it's actually zero at that point there it looks like at five uh, i don't know um yeah I'll, I'll just take it as five so when my wavelength is equal to five times ten to the power minus seven that's when i have a kinetic energy of zero so it means that would be my sort of threshold frequency uh, in a sense okay um, but uh, remember what are we looking for we're looking for the work function so to get the work function and for those of you who haven't watched our full video on photoelectric effect i think it would really do you a world of good if you'd go back to that so we know that the work function would be hf0 uh, the threshold frequency but we're not given the threshold frequency in this case but we are given the wavelength so we're going to say c divided by lambda so therefore this is 6.63 that's Planck's constant times 10 to the minus 34 multiplied by uh, the speed of light which is 3 times 10 to the power 8 okay and we divide that by that wavelength there that we said is 5 times 10 to the minus 7 okay and that should give us the work function of this particular metal i hope that makes sense uh, because we're saying at the work function or rather at the threshold frequency uh, that's when my kinetic energy max is zero it looks like i had a kinetic energy all along until i got to that point there right so uh, our final answer okay so i'm just calculating quickly 6.63 uh, times 10 to the power minus 34 multiplied by 3 times 10 to the power 8 and di divide that by 5 times 10 to the minus 7 okay and i get a um uh, yeah there's the answer that i get 3.7 at uh, 3.978 um so i'll just say 3.98 times 10 to the power minus 19 uh, joules and that's our work function okay right and the final question uh, they say calculate the maximum kinetic energy okay uh, of yeah uh, of the emitted photoelectron when the wavelength of the incident light is 0 0.5 times 10 uh, to the power minus 7 okay now you can see uh, why would we need to calculate that because if you look at the graph uh, that is really out of sight so we'd need to somewhat extrapolate that value uh, if we could extend the graph we could we would but in this case then we'd need to calculate okay um, so we know that uh, they've given us the wavelength as 0 0.7 uh, um, uh, uh, 0.5 rather okay so uh, perhaps uh, i'm not sure how you'd want to uh, go about this one um, let's do this so let's calculate the amount of energy that would be um, uh, you know emitted by that photon okay so i would say e because i know the um, the, the wavelength okay I know the wavelength so in this case I'd say E is equals to HF but I'm not given the frequency but the wavelength this time around okay so I'll say HC over lambda so this is 6.63 multiplied by 10 to the minus 34 multiplied by 3 times 10 to the power 8 divided by our wavelength which is 0 0.5 times 10 to the power minus 7 okay so once again we're going to do almost the same calculation uh, 6.63 okay that's mild multiplied by 3 exponent uh, 8 uh, to the power 8 divided by 0 0.5 to the power minus seven uh, okay so um, I get a value which is almost almost similar but this time 
uh, just be careful so I get a value of 3.98 times 10 to the power minus 18 joules so this would be the photon of the energy of the photon but now we know that E is equal to omega 0 plus EK max okay so we've got the value for E we've got the uh, work function we can find out what the EK max value is okay so EK max would basically be the difference between the two so I'm going to take that value and subtract okay so it would be E this one minus the work function okay so that's 3. Point, um, 3.98 to the power minus 19 okay right and I get a maximum kinetic energy value of 3.58 um, times 10 to the power minus 18 joules okay remember that's kinetic energy it should be measured in joules and no wonder why it could not fit here because it's such a large value uh, if you think about it compared to these ones uh, so it's high up there okay so in this case that would be our final answer i hope uh, that really made sense and um right so this is the last question on this one of course we are going to be continuing with uh, paper two uh, and i'm hoping that you know as you continue you know by the time that you go and write that uh, paper one uh you know in physics uh, that will be on friday that is uh, that you'll be ready and you know um, obviously you'll do your absolute absolute best um, otherwise from me for now ladies and gents um, yeah it's it's really been good and continue please to uh, tell others about the this channel and continue also to uh, for those who haven't subscribed please just uh, be part of that family of the family all right i'll see you guys next time uh, we'll be looking at chemistry okay and uh, just keep those questions coming Shop, shop.